Hi guys, in this video I want to show you how to create this really nice summer photo inside of Photoshop. Now, here's the original, and as you can see, it's a pretty bland and boring picture. And quite frankly, I thought it needed just kind of sprucing up a little, like this image here. And this gives the image a whole lot of life, and the colours are really nice, and I just think it's a bit of a shame that this picture is so bland. So let's get started. We'll go back to the original file, and we'll start from scratch. So what you want to do first is you want to duplicate your layer, and you'll see why I do that later. Now next what you want to do is you want to go into your adjustments, which is on your right side here of your interface. If you can't see that, then go to window and adjustments. And what you want to go on first is curves. Now usually people tell you to make an S shape, like this. But we don't want to do that because that brings in all these darks. So we want to just raise them both. Now not too much just to make the image look too flat though, as that will kind of ruin the image quality. But that looks about right. Now what you want to do next is you want to go on to your colour balance. Now on the mid-tones, you want to change the cyan red bar to around plus 15. So I'll just type that in here. And what that does is it adds more reds and gets rid of those blues in the mid-tones. And then what you want to do is you want to leave the magneto green to zero and the yellow blue. Put that to plus 21. And then what you want to do is you want to go onto your highlights and you want to put it on plus 15 and the bottom to minus 18 and just leave the middle bar alone we don't need to touch that then on the shadows you want to change the top one to minus 2 and leave the other zero and that's it for the color balance already now we want to do is you want to go into your exposure and you want to just adjust the offset slightly so you get this sort of nice flat-ish looking image. It's not too flat looking, but it looks nice enough to have that effect. Okay, so what you want to do now is, this is where the copy comes into, you want to go to filter, my desk really isn't big enough, you want to go to filter, noise, and add noise. Now what that does is it adds this nice kind of retro sort of style effect to your picture, which does look really nice. Don't add too much noise, as it just looks ridiculous, like that, for example. But what I'll do is I'll add enough, just so I can lower the opacity here to what I want it to be. Now, what you can do, if you like, is look at where the light's coming from, and with your brush tool, and select a size which is rather large, make a new layer, change the colour to white, and then just put it right in the corner there. Now, obviously there's no sun right there so you want to just lower that down a bit and maybe drag it into the corner a little more but that does give off that really nice effect now this one from previously looks a little bit more sort of dreamy looking that can be fixed by just playing around with the exposure and seeing what you want it to look like and that's all it is to it really and making this nice summer photo obviously everyone's photo is going to be different you can't expect everyone's to look the same because obviously each photo has different light properties and different colour properties. So obviously what the, the, the adjustments I just gave you aren't necessarily going to work for your picture. But just play around with the mid-tones, reducing the blues and the cold colours and giving that nice warmth to your picture. And that's basically it for how to add this summary effect. And uh, I hope this video has been useful. If it has, then of course leave this video a like and I will really appreciate that. Be sure to subscribe for more Photoshop videos as I will be bringing more out in the future and regularly. So thank you for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe, like my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter for more updates about upcoming videos and things like that. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in another video shortly.